Father Lord, I thank you this morning. I thank you because you are the one that knows the best to give. Original life is in you. The abundance of all we want, you own them. You have them in your hands. Thank you because this word this morning is going to touch everyone. Anywhere you are listening to this, watching this, I pray that through this, the hand of God will touch you. Lord, minister through me today and touch your children. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we'll pray. Can the church say? Can you shout louder? Hey, amen. amen. By the grace of God, I'm happy this morning because you are hearing this and something is going to touch your life. By the message of God, I want you to know that there is nothing you can give to your service. God is not giving it to you. And there is no way you can discover yourself if God is not calling you out. So something great is going to be, is going to happen. That will restructure your life today and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout out that amen? amen. Can you shout out that amen? amen? Now, I, I'm going to be talking about waking the sleeping giant. Per six, amen. And uh, what that means, I'm going to be talking about resting before the time of rest. I'm taking my scripture from there. Micah chapter 2 verse 10. The book of Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Says, Can we read it together? One, two, go. Let your voice be louder. Read it together. One, two, go. Let's read it together. Now, one, two, go. Arise. Ye. And depart. From this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with the sore destruction. God needed something from us. He wants us to be uh, in a place where the highs of his dwells. And he wanted us to work with time and season. And today I'm going to be talking about why must we wake the sleeping giant? Number one, it is because the person who owes the giant will be walking behind schedule. I've explained to you before what sleeping giant signifies. And today we are going to be talking why must the sleeping giant be awakened? That fellow will be giving excesses of worry, doubt, and thinking that he or she cannot make it anymore in life. Number three, because the career of the giant will always run into people instead of running to God. We need to have all this better understanding in life that can give us something positive. I've said to us that a sleeping giant is not a tall man, nor a short man, nor somebody that is sleeping at night, but somebody that has something great to offer, but cannot offer that greatness. Next one, because they don't make positive impact. In the face of crisis. Sleeping giant find it difficult to make positive impact. Whenever crisis come, then their life is upside down. They begin to run from pillar to post. They don't even know where to run to. They don't even know exactly what they do. They don't even understand. They worry over so many things. When things happen, they worry concerning their marriage. Worry concerning their children. Worry concerning their job. Worry concerning their nation. Worry concerning their own self. Worry concerning their growing up. Worry concerning their church. Worry concerning their pastor. Worry concerning their boss in the office. Worry concerning their family. Worry concerning everything. Their name is now becoming worry. 
And before you know it, such person can never succeed in life. Sleeping giants will not fully understand that there are some people whose their glory is attracted to gossip. Here it is. There are people on earth, if people don't gossip, you cannot succeed. I want to dwell on this a bit. I have few people. One of my daughters in the Lord, some times ago, she came and said, Daddy, this is this. I don't know what is happening in my office. She works in the bank. I don't know what is happening in my office. I said to her, because God configure your life to gossip. So if people gossip you, and you see it as a way, no, why must it be so? You are just wasting your time. You cannot succeed. Not only one person that God has opened my eyes to relate with in this, in this aspect of life. They might find it difficult in life if nobody gossip them. Some people, for them to become what they need to become, they must pass through that stage of being gossiped. Amen. Let me share this concerning Abalist. When I was growing up, uh, there used to be a particular man that that man would wear tattered clothes, do a lot of things in the wrong way, just for people to abuse him. So immediately, they abused that man. The next thing that happened to that man is so people that abuse is they will fall into a problem and they will start seeking for a way to go and beg that man that man make money through his gossipers so if people are gossiping you thank god for that don't ever retaliate here it is i said it might be difficult for them to succeed if nobody gossip there. You know, life have different configuration. Some people in life, something must happen for to you that people must talk bad about you. And here it is, Jesus said, oh, they are ignorant of what they are doing. They didn't know that my glory is being decorated when they are killing me. When Jesus Jesus was able to work with three women in the Bible that are very uh, notorious. The first notorious woman that Jesus attended to was a woman at the way. A prostitute. A woman that had five, that divorced the five husbands. And when the apostles saw Jesus with this woman, you know what they did? What are you doing with her? Why must he be with this woman? And Jesus said to them, you don't know, this is my first evangelist. She was the one that entered into the city and said to her other men, come and see the man who is telling me exactly what happened to me. And Jesus said, even the other man you are with right now, your husband you are with right now, is not your husband. Number two, was a sinner woman. The Bible recorded that woman to be a sinner woman. That the work of that woman was to pour oil on Jesus' head. Okay? And Jesus said, this woman is actually doing the best in remembrance to my, to my, to my dead. They wanted to stop him and he said to them, why do you want to stop her? They want to stop her. Don't, do, don't allow her to stop. She's doing something. Anywhere this gospel is preached, this woman will be mentioned. Number three, was a possessed woman. That happened to be the woman that took the testimony of the, the resurrection of Jesus to the apostles. Okay? A woman with seven demons. So any man that come to your life have something to offer. Is it that to show you a way or to tell you what you don't know how to do best? In one of my ministrations working in Dominion, I said something about critics. I said, critics are the one that will tell you what you don't know. Then, because they might have searched you out 
and get your secret somewhere and they are going to reveal your secret to you and if you like it, mourn your secret, uh, your, your critics, or say bad thing against your critics. Hello, it's your business. But what you need to know, your critics know exactly what you don't know about yourself. And this is the reason. You must use them as your first weapon. And here it is. And the one who gossip them have their glory share with the one who is gossiped by them. Anyone that gossip you, they have their glory because they are going to pour out their heart. How does that happen? How does it work? They will pour out their heart. They are going to tell you, instead of you to do it this way, you are doing it this way. Look at you. They will train you more than what you pay for for training. But the problem of so many sleeping giants is they don't make use of their critics. They don't make use of their gossipers. They don't make use of people that speak wrong things about them. Any man that comes into your life in a negative manner, make use of the positive thing. There is somebody sitting beside you. You have something to offer to that person. Is that okay? Either information in disguise or information in ridicule you. Either information in anything. Information must pump out somewhere. Hello? There is no useless in my organogram. No useless man. Any man that comes my way, even you tag yourself a useless person, I will bring out something you never see about yourself from you. And by the time you look at yourself, say, no, I'm not a useless man. We must wake the sleeping giant because they are wasting away without achieving anything in life. They are like people who visited the earth and go unnoticed, untouched, undiscovered, unmoved, unconcerned about what is happening around them. That is the work of sleeping giant. There are lots of people that will come to this world, they will just go that way. They are like that. No children, no marriage, no good work. They struggle and they die without struggling. They see life as taller as they are, but never understand it is on the contrary. When some people are tall, they will think that to be tall is what giant means. No, it can't be. There is something on your inside that must give you exactly what you are waiting for. Hello. You must wake up and see yourself as important as somebody beside you. Is that okay? There is a mechanism on your inside that is fixed by God to your inside that makes you different from somebody, even to your husband or your twin sister or your twin brother. Until when you understand that you have something that is different from the other man, you will not really know exactly your makeup in life. Every day of your life will be with tears. You will start crying. You will start more money. Why is it this is not working? Why am I struggling? Every day we be with struggling. I'm going to tell you something today that will really shock you. They forgot that life is to be careful. Life is to read meanings to. Life is to bring out something good from. And move with it without resistance. You must care for life. Tell somebody, say care for your life. Don't be careless about your life. Do not, do not mingle your life with another person. Don't dash out your destiny. Can you say, say, don't doubt out your destiny? Say, devil is not in charge of everything. You are in charge of everything. Say, anything that has to do with your life, devil have nothing about it. Say, in case you don't understand, the first day your life is given to God, you have the total package in God. Can I hear your shout? I received that. Who is the sleeping giant? A sleeping giant is that man or that woman who find it difficult to see another life better than the one he or she is living. They just see that life and begin to see this is a life. Hello. You must not live every life that comes your way. You must make sure that there is a better life you have not lived before. And you know what? You marry yourself into that life. It's something that people must eman it must emanate from somebody. Some from somewhere. And somebody must learn that from you. Problem of so many people 
is their mindset. You understand that? It's what? Mindset. The mindset of people is they program their life to let's go to church, let's pray. When we pray, let's fast. When we fast, let's go to church, let's do this. And in the end, there is nothing again. When they are looking for the worst lazy man, come to church. You will see them. When you are looking for lazy woman, lazy human being, they are in church. When you are looking for the senior beggar, they are in church. Okay? When you are looking for somebody with mental, with, with mental disease in mind, they are in church. But when you see them, you will be thinking that this, oh, you are doing well. Because you know what? A madman will always see what he or she is doing to be better. And be calling another person, you're a madman. When you're looking for somebody that keep their, their dirty place, okay? And begin to look and bring it out the dirty place of another man, they are in church. Then, the problem is this. When are you going to come out and wake up that giant that is sleeping? Say, I'm going to wake up that sleeping giant. When you underutilize your person, your personality will mean nothing to you. It's just a matter of time. Anytime you underutilize your person, hello, you have life in abundance to live than the life of another man. To some people, their life is, I want to marry after marriage, what next? Hello? What next? After marriage. When you marry today, good. But have you ever thought of something that is going to happen? I used to tell people, the mentality of people is I want to marry. When you marry now, your marriage is not for one year. Listen to this. You have to think about 15 years before you enter into that marriage. 15 years in marriage before you enter into the marriage. When you enter into marriage and you spend two years, then add another 15 years to it. See 15 years of your future before you enter into that future. Then you will understand something great is going to happen to you. Say somebody beside you, say don't move by now. Say don't move with the now, sorry. Say don't move with the now. Say move very fast. The way the seconds on the time count on notice. You know, when you see the clock, seconds we count, right? But seconds will not tell you that it's 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. What is going to tell you that? That is 2 o'clock, this 3 o'clock. What is going to tell you? The hour and what? A minute signal. Seconds will just be blinking all day long, but minutes don't move at all times. Hours move at hourly. But seconds move. That is the way. Your life represents that seconds, not minutes or hour. This is the way we have to see our life. Meaning that my life is fragile. My life is what? But you know, when the signal of that seconds is removed from the clock, what happened? The hour can still work. What again? The, the minute can still work, but the thing that makes it to work is half. That is why many people will live on earth, but they will not live a pleasant life. That is a configuration. Life will not be meaningful when your mind is not mindful of your moves in life. There is no how. Life will no longer be meaningful. So your life must be mindful of your move. A sleeping giant is that man that has something to offer, but that don't even know if he have anything to offer. Somebody, you, you want pastor to tell you what you can offer? Don't you know it? A lot of people are dying under the, under the prophetic of the prophets. I'm a prophet to the glory of God, but I don't put people under slavery. Please tell me. I had a lot of people that have come here. Pastor, tell me who I be. You say, I'm not a microwave pastor. You are whom you are. You want people to give you, you want people to give you soap. Okay? 
for them to know, for you to know that let me cleanse my body so I can look so beautiful. Why can't you use your mouth to tell your God? You are a sleeping giant. Hello? This is the reason the house of God is home by God. When God defaces, you know, if you go to churches, the faces in the church, you discover that there are new, new faces every time. Reason is this. God do something to move the people that are not supposed to be part to that place we place. For people that are supposed to be part in that place to come. Then everything can work in a normal way. I see somebody today. Your helpers of destiny will be connected to you. Yeah. Can you shout it very well? Yeah. Sleeping giant doesn't grab opportunities. He allowed the sleeping dog to lie awake without functioning. Somebody that was created with gold that remained unrefined and refused to seek how he could do better or to make use of that gold. You must be refined. Is that okay? This year is coming to an end. Is that you like it or not? Another year will come. But can you tell yourself what you have achieved this year? Have you been able to achieve anything? You are buying, purchasing the product of other people. Do you have your product? I said something sometimes ago. If you have worked in a place for seven years, or you have worked as an earner for seven years, and you have not been able to create your own business, something is wrong with you. When you are comfortable in receiving salary at all times, salary in Yoruba, I tag it, salary, we just see it for nothing. Shall mean nothing. Because before, when you know the amount they are going to pay you, before you receive the salary, the salary is gone. I want you to start looking at yourself, create projects in mind. Nigeria is coming to a situation that everybody must have something that can benefit others. Okay? What you have learned in that place, anywhere you go to work, you are in that place to learn then you need to execute or you need to establish yourself. You need to make sure you get something positive out of that place. If you go to that place to form chaos in your office, you cannot succeed. If you go to your office, you want to mingle with people or to talk down your leader, you cannot succeed. If you go to the office, you need to tap into the secret of that man. A particular lady came here some years back and I said to her, you are a teacher, say yes sir. And God is saying to me that you're going to have your school. Don't mind the salary they are paying you in that place. Focus on what you are going to do. Serve in that school in pain. Okay? So, you can be established. To the glory of God, she owns a school now. Because of what? She listened to prophetic instruction. But to some people, they forget about the prophetic instruction. And the next thing they are going to do to form Kagos. Hey, madam, she's not even pay us where. You begin to shift the location every time. They know you everywhere. From here to here. From here to here. From here to here. Okay, you work in a bank. This bank is not comfortable. I'm going here. One of my son in the Lord called me sometimes ago this week. There is a place they wanted uh, an editor that edits movies and the rest, I advise him to go for that. And to the glory of God, he's doing well. Now, he used to be our drummer. But from there, he turned to my son. And he cannot do anything without relating with God in me. We are, he's working right now, the money, the money they are going to pay him in the place where he's supposed to go is like 50,000 increments. And I prayed. So me, I will tell him to go. Say, Daddy, anything you say is what I'm going to do. I waited for a while. I think of the money there. At least if the money increased, this, the status of this boy will change. Right? And I said to him, the Lord is saying, you should stay where you are. The place you are going is glittering, but it will not last. Say, Daddy, that is it? I said, yes. Say, Daddy, it's a deal. But to some people... They say either it lasts or it did not last. If I leave that place, I get another place. 
Isn't it? That is the problem of so many people. Directly or indirectly, you are a sleeping giant. There are some jobs you will have that destroy the glory. One of my son the Lord worked with a particular woman. They pay him very well, at least average money that they can pay a Nigeria graduate. Okay? Good. Good money. But you know what? The salary has not been able to change for over years. Or then I said to him, run to me, say, Daddy, I went to the office. I said, let's go to the office. This is what they use. They use white cloth on this your chair. Over the year, the chair has not been changed. They have not changed the chair. Then, please, we are going to do the reversal. We did the reversal in the realm of the spirit. And when we did that, immediately, anytime this man wants to get something better, the owner of that company will be of a good, good accord. Want to be the friend to that, my son. Okay? Call the wife that you have not been called for some years. Want to be the friend. And the woman just, the wife told me, said, Daddy, no, that woman call me. I said, we have done something in the spirit. So please, don't. That man want to resign from that place now. To so some people, they will say, no, I can't get work anywhere. By the time it will come to testify, you will remember this message that I've preached. Sleeping giant. They are disobedient person. Disobedient. There is no amount of fasting and prayer, vigils or praises you can do to change your life for better if your obedience is not in place. Lots of people, the mind of disobedience, you think that fasting is going to solve it. No. You have your home part. When God formed Adam and Eve, God kept them in the garden, okay? And when God kept them in that garden, the Lord said to them, He released their will to them. You can do exactly what you want. He said to them, In this garden, we have two trees. This one eats from it, this one don't eat from it. Okay? He left them with their will. You can eat from it. But you know what? The man changes his will from the will of God. And then amount to something. The sleeping on his inside was what we throw for him. Because of disobedience. A sleeping giant is not a great man. But a tall man is not what? A great man. But what? A tall man. Many years ago, I went to settle issue in a particular marriage. And as I said to the matter finished, the wife of the family called me, uh, the husband, as was escorting me, said, Sir, Pastor, look at my flesh. Everybody used to say that I'm handsome. Uh, this woman married a handsome man. And here it is. Even to work is not working. The wife said, in my office, I want to get loan for you. Okay, speak to some of your friends so they can employ you. Say, no, everything, no. This one, no. It was just beautiful for nothing. He's a sleeping giant. He's counting about how huge he was. Okay, how beautiful he was. He was, he was a, a tall man, handsome man, but not a great man. So sleeping giants are not known to be great. Okay? A tall man without a great man brain is only a figure, but not a mirror. Anyone can look through. When you look at yourself, ah, look at me. When you look at mirror, I used to tell you, mirror will show you whom you are, but will not tell you what to do. Is that clear? Mirror will only show you whom you are. You are tall. Wow. Your foundation remains small. Put little foundation, right? After that foundation, put second foundation, right? After that foundation, put another foundation. Before you know, you use the heap of, uh, of, of messing work. Cement. When you cement that place, I look so beautiful. You put the eyelashes, eyeshadow, everything. Different color, right? You do your hair very well. You look so beautiful. But people never know until when you come out. That is why when you want to marry as a man, don't marry because of beauty. Beautiful entity of every woman or every man is what they carry that they can offer. You might not know 
that a lot of people are void of a right sense until when they talk. Some people, until when they talk, that is when they are out of their right sense. Okay? When the giant is woken up, the carrier becomes stronger. When the giant on the inside wake up, what happened? The carrier becomes stronger. Because I used, I used to tell you that when you carry a sleeping giant on your inside, you are way down. But when the giant on your inside wake up, what will happen? You do your hand like this, the giant will do it. You do your hair like this, the giant will do it. That is how it is. Just like uh, uh, women that, that, that had experienced what is called uh, the seabed. That a child died on their hindsight, right? You know what they experience? Their tummy will become so heavy. Because there is no more life. Life in every child still look, make them look lighter, right? They play around. They move around the water, right? They make all things work. Uh, but when that child is dead on the hindsight, what happens? The child will become heavier. The mother will find it difficult to do anything. That's why I pray for everyone that you are pregnant, your child will not die. Yeah. Shout out that, amen. Yeah. A giant in mind are the people who are not intimidated by anything. Ladies and gentlemen, I will apologize to add more time because I'm going to finish this. Is he a deep, please? Can you give me like 15 minutes more to my time? Okay, God bless you. Is that agreement? So if you support that, can you clap your hands and shout hallelujah? God bless you. I love you. Amen. They have their right thinking within them. A giant in mind. I'm talking about the giant in mind. Number three. They create their own step for others to follow. I'm talking about giant. Number four. Their mind is not in the physical, but in their enthusiasm for the success in life. Number five, they are not afraid of their tomorrow because their original picture is not fake. If you are a man that you are afraid of your tomorrow, it means that you are not living a rightful life. We have a lot of people one lady, I saw, I saw her and I advised her, she saw a charge card moving up and down, a graduate with statistic wisdom according to what she claimed, right? I said, you can do, start doing lessons for people. Before you know it, you will have been getting like maybe 50,000 per month or above 50,000 per month because from this house to this house, this recharge card will not help you, right? How much will you see in it? And I said to her, Moving from one place to the other. You can do this in the morning, but make sure in the evening, make sure you just teach people mathematics. Every children in mathematics. And by the time we talk, I discover that she could not defend a result. Who is a sleeping giant? When you manage to purchase your graduating right. You put on matriculation gun and you put on the confiscation gun and you are unable to prove whom you are, what you claim to be. You are a sleeping giant. There are a lot of people while they are in school, they have mind that after I close from school, I begin to sell raw rice. Raw food, right? When they finish, they are looking at the kiosk. And the kiosk. Chaos around them, chaos in the house, and so many things. This does not count. Somebody is here today that God is going to change your standard. Amen. Can I hear you shout out that amen? amen? Can I hear you shout out that amen? amen? I said, God is going to change your standard. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. Now, a giant in mind, they watch their asset growing. They are not lazy in thought. They believe if I fail or if I fall, I shall rise again. Example of Coca Cola. One year, their forces, according to what we hear, 
their forces was 25 pieces of, of Coca-Cola bottle. One year. But they never quit. Okay? 25 what? Bottle. In one year. But some people, before you start the journey to greatness, you're already backwarding. People just see you moving, but you are backward. People see you going, but you know you are not going anywhere. If they have that mind, we have this industry, we have everything, we have spent a lot of money, we have spent a lot of things, and we sold 25 pieces in a year, they will have withdrawn. But now, do you know how many million they sell per minute? Because of what? They believe in what they see. My question is this, what do you see about yourself? What do you see about your life? What do you see about your destiny? You must see some, some, say somebody beside you say you must see something. Say you must see something about yourself. In the name of Jesus. There are a lot of sleeping giants in the earth that must wake up. There are some people that are good. Good people, loving God, people of God. They have more Bible and uh, formal teaching, but they are so blinded to religion mindset. They have formal teaching about the Bible. But their mind, the word of the Lord said they are blinded. They have etymology idea. They have soteriology idea. They have a, a technological idea. They have a, what is it called again? Demonology idea. They have a, a eschatology idea. They have so many ideas about the theological part of religion, but they don't really know whom you are. Christianity is beyond tire apart every morning and begin to pray. You pray, you pray, you pray, you pray, you pray. You are expecting somebody to pass by and begin to give you something when you don't work on yourself. We have a lot of people who misses it in the journey of life that ended up in church as a pastor now. They misses it in the journey of life, but ended up to be a pastor. They miss it up. They mess it up. I want you to know the belief of those people in life is about Jesus. It's about loving him, pleasing him, and advancing the kingdom. But it's good. But let me tell you Jesus' agenda, but from Jesus' perspective, Say Jesus' perspective is about horse. He didn't die on the cross to save himself. He didn't come to this earth to fulfill the plan of redemption so he could have abundant life. He came so we can have that abundant life. He became Abraham's seed not to inherit God's promise but that we could inherit God's promise. He did all of this so blessing of God can come to us. So we can be a blessing to the world. Are you a blessing to your generation? If you are not a blessing to your generation, you are not fulfilling the law of God. Is that okay? You are not doing what? You are not fulfilling the law of God. We must make sure that we fulfill the law of God to let us to make sure it works. Some Christians search the scripture to improve some elements of bondage on their own life. Because they don't search it to see if they are really on the track to greatness. They don't search scripture in that way. If they have something to offer to their whole life. Let's go to church. They go to church as somebody that is bent, tie and the leg. Let's do this and do that. But there is nothing that comes to their wisdom and all the time to give them what they want. When you look at the Bible with fresh perspective, you will discover your new you on your inside. I can't see myself as a giant lie down at all times. And I begin to look at myself and say, well, what can I mean? Life is about great things. I'm going to come out with great things in Jesus' name. Until you take a bold step on that matter, that matter will remain as it is. Anything you place on the table untouched, your children will come and suffer it. Anything you place on the mat, on the table, untouched, you are still coming back there to solve it before you proceed. 
Hear me. Journey of life, there is no way you can manipulate it. Am I speaking to somebody here? If you don't do it in a proper way, you will return back to do and do it in a proper way. This is the reason somebody that wants to succeed, that wants to be a doctor, that run out of school, must revisit that school so he can become what he wants to become. So if you don't do it in a proper way, what do you do? You must go back and revisit it. And at this time, my bill will struggle. So if you don't approach life in a proper manner, you have to revisit life. There is a second chance for every man. But I pray for you, may you not lose your second chance. Yeah. Trace of sleeping giant. Trace of sleeping giant. If you cannot proceed anymore in the face of threat. In the face of threat, you see threat, you cannot, pro you cannot proceed. Little thing happen to you and you look at yourself. How can I go ahead with this? I'm tired. I'm tired. You, you will look at yourself and sit in a particular location and start thinking, overthinking, overthinking. This one I've cut you off, but you don't know how to approach it again. You're a sleeping giant. That's number one trace. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10. The book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10 made us understand something in that scripture says. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thou do what? Faint in the day of what? Of adversity. Your strength is what? Can, I, can we repeat it? Read it three all times. One to go. Can we shout it again? Now do it for the last time. What do you mean by adversity? It's a hard time and difficult time. If you faint, the Bible did not say if you fail, if you faint, if you don't confront it the way you should, then you don't have strength. If you don't confront it in a normal manner, you don't have strength. When it comes to you this way, Face it that way. And you say to yourself, the Lord is my strength. I cannot be moved. What shall a man do unto me? Number two. Trace of a sleeping giant. If you are the one that a giant in you sleeps and wake up. Meaning that you are pushed once or always been pushed before you know what to do. People must push you. You don't even know what to do. At all times, people must push you. Do it. You don't even know what to do. You wake up without no idea. You sleep without no idea. Your idea is how to press phone. Your idea is how to think how you want to have sex. Your idea is how to greet people. Your idea is visitation. Your idea is go to church. Your idea is pray. Your idea is presses. Your idea is not in what can I do more to better my life? If your only idea is what I've mentioned, then you don't have any idea. When you wake up with ideas, you sleep with ideas, you will discover that something better will come into your life. There are uh, networking, uh, networking system right now. Get this money and bring this more money and get big money in Nigeria, right? Okay? Some people called me, sir. Another one has come out. Please, can you pray for me? I said, what are you doing? I don't have anything now, but that is what I'm doing. I said, is it a business? That is Kalu Kalu in the highest order. Hello? Even if it's opportunity, grab the opportunity, right? Okay? If you can do it and you succeed, grab the opportunity on the internet, but you must not fail in your personal life. The question of so many people is, when you do it, what do you use it for? I'm expecting one million naira. You have already spent that one million naira before it comes. We have to wake up. Tell somebody, say, I'm waking up. Tell the sleeper, say, don't sleep. Say, wake up. Wake up. Hallelujah. 
So you need to understand. When you grab those opportunities, good. But make sure that that is not your bus stop. Some people don't work again. They monitor it on the internet and it can never last. When you base your product on a product that can never last, you will not last. It's not a cause. I'm just sharing the blessing understanding with you. Having to hear of people before them, they came before them, where are they? Grab the opportunity if it seems as opportunity to you, but don't rely on it. That business is just like the business of a woman, a man that was dating a lady that spent all he has on that lady and in the end, they never marry. What do you count that? Wastage. I also tell people, when you have, I have a fiancé, I used to tell them, don't count on everything you spent on that lady. Count it as a waste until when you marry. When you marry, count it as a gain. So, when that lady leave you or that man leave you, you will not take it personal. Well, I know it's a waste before. But when you gain it, I know it's my gain. So, it's of two head. Okay? Number three, you find it difficult to take a bold step. Sleeping giant, find it difficult. That is the choice. If you find it difficult to take both step, anything you want to do, you are just being relaxed. Be relaxed. Be relaxed. You can stay in the place of gossip for three hours, but you cannot think about yourself for five minutes. Gossip, three hours. Devil will know how to retain you in the place of gossip because you know you cannot gain anything in that place. But thinking about yourself for five minutes. I, did I say five minutes? Did I say five minutes? Eh? Do you know if you read books 20 minutes in a day, okay, in a month, you have acquired or you have read like two million words. You have it on your head. But there are lots of people they don't think of such. A lot of people is on the phone. You can take your phone. Let people know that what you are doing on phone is something that can better your life. There are a lot of things on the internet. Come and tell somebody. Say go on the internet and visit good site. Shout it very loud. There are a lot of people that are benefiting from this message right now. They are watching it on YouTube watching it on Facebook, watching it on every other social media because of what is the product of internet. 10 years ago or 20 years ago, it was not like this. Maybe it has been, but I'm not in there. And when I got it, I utilized it very well. So the glory of God, when God gave me understanding about how to make use of WhatsApp, for in, in by, by, 18th of next, by 18th of May, okay, it's my anniversary. For my WhatsApp, for my broadcast, it's going to be three years on interrupted broadcast. Can you celebrate God for that? I follow the instruction on what God told me. Even if it's comfortable or it's not comfortable, but I must preach at most 15 minutes in a day for people. People are waiting for it. A lot of people that I did not even know. Like this woman that gave testimony. Said that a friend of mine said, have you had your pastor broadcast? That is church outside church. If you want to fellowship with God, have a church outside church. That is it. Hell in the morning, you get it right, you make yourself fit. The other day, I believe it was a deliverance, the spiritual cleansing. I took the oil as well. I was selling them on that broadcast. What you are doing, I'm doing it. I was anointing my house. I tell her, I'm anointing here. I came to church. I anointed the church because it's a divine instruction. I will not do it for you without me doing it. Any man that. It's not a ministry, it's just a talker. Or just a preacher. Let's make a preacher, but not a minister. Okay? When you are preaching, and what you are preaching is not ministering to you, you are a preacher. You are not a minister. Then from what I'm doing, we are talking about waking what? The sleeping giant. To the glory of God, I woke up with both steps. 
Somebody, some people that are going to be board of directors to a company we are going to open for church, they are here. Just in this period of waking the sleeping giant. Board of directors, investors, some are Ghana, some are, are in America, some are in so many places. Because of what? I want to wake up the sleeping giant on my inside. You have been hearing it. What have you done? After the service, we clap our, clap, clap our hands. Hey, praise the Lord. That message. That message. That, have you changed something? My daughter is there. Can you come, sister? Abu, come here. One day, I minister about the ignorance of whom you are. I want everyone to hear this throughout the world. Can you give us the experience of what that ignorance of whom you are? Tell, tell you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Um... I was in church when daddy talked about the ignorance of whom you are. The ignorance of whom you are is all about discovering your inner self as in what you are and you don't understand whom you are. But that topic made me to understand whom I am. Actually, I, I have things around me that I didn't even realize exist. But with that topic, after daddy talked about ignorance of whom you are, I got home and I sat down, looked around me, and I discovered that what I actually want to do was just there beside me without my knowing it. So the ignorance of whom you are made me to discover the job that I have to do that is around me that I don't know. So with the topic, I was able to discover what I am doing today. What do you discover? <laughs> uh, I have a car, a, a Toyota Camry that I've been lying fallow that I couldn't even uh, buy a battery for the car. So after the topic in church, when I got home, I looked around and I said, this with what daddy taught today, this car could actually uh, fetch me money as in make me that I can use this car to actually achieve something. So I went, I bought a battery. From buying a battery, I said, I can actually take this car out and make some money from this car. So that was how I started the car business that I'm doing today. <laughs> Thank you. Praise the Lord. She's a cab woman. Amen. That day, to the glory of God, she looked at her vehicle and said, This can make money for me. And she has to drive to where is that place now? ShopRite. She came home with money that day, according to her testimony there. Because of what? She knew that this can fetch me something. But you know, after that, she sold the Camry, bought another vehicle, sold another vehicle. She's using a powerful vehicle right now. Praise the Lord. And this one is exactly what God can do. Sometimes preaching changes your mind. When you remain where you are and you don't push to get something, look for somebody that will push you. Is that to slap you? or to push you, or to pinch you, or to bite you, or to do anything to you, or to talk to you anyhow. Look for somebody that will insult you to push you to purpose. One day I saw her. She was uh, driving along somewhere. And I saw her. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, Daddy, I, please, I want to see you, Daddy. I want to even see you. I want to go and pick my customer. I said, which customer? Say, I'm doing cab now. From my house, I pick people to this place from here. So it's not ashamed of it. The worth of your vehicle you are using now is how many millions? About 3.5 million. Acquire from cab business. Because of what? Obedience of the word. When you get something here from this waking the sleeping giant, don't just let it lie low. Another thing is this. Anything you are doing, a sleeping giant is a deceitful man or woman. 
They deceive themselves, deceive people around them, deceive their life, and they deceive their helper. When you are small and you look at yourself, yes, I am bigger than what people think I am. Hello, you will only you people that will clap for you, but they cannot clap for you forever. Hallelujah. Number four. Trace or sleeping giant. What should take you a few seconds to settle? Take one year from you and still no headway. If you have that in you, you're a sleeping giant. You need to wake up. Number five. Good things will have happened to people around you without your notice. And when it happens, finish, then you begin to say, oh, that opportunity, you didn't get that opportunity. You begin to look at yourself. Why can't I get that opportunity done? It's because of what? You're a sleeping giant. Number six, because your giant is sleeping, you might be chased out of job and stay for years before getting another job. You're a sleeping giant. Number seven, if you record lateness in everything and involve in wrong relationship, every relationship you find yourself, they are always wrong. There is a trace of being a sleeping giant. You need to repent and change. If you find it difficult to meet up in life, you discover this where I'm supposed to be and you're supposed to approach it in a very beautiful manner, but you're not seeing it that way. You are a sleeping giant. Number nine, opportunities are always withdrawn from you. You are a sleeping giant. Number ten, if you sleep with another person's husband or wife, you are what? You are a sleeping giant. Number eleven, that's going to be the last one. If you keep offenses for long, and you find it hard to forgive, you are what? You are a sleeping giant. Can't be outstanding. If you fall into this category, you know you fall into the category of the sleeping giant. I want you to pray very well. I will not call you out. But by the grace of God, with the season of the anointing service, but before you do that, even though you want to give your life to Christ, you discover that you are not even living right with God because part of it if you are not living right with God, you are a sleeping giant. Your life is always out of God's agenda. You are a sleeping giant. Are you in the house? You want to give your life to Christ? I want you to please come forward. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. And you know that the trace of the sleeping giant, you actually have them on your inside or with you or in you. Please come forward. The last statement I made. You find it difficult to proceed in life. All these 11 characters that I mentioned in Sleeping Giant. Can you come forward? God bless you, my sister. If you know, I want to pray with you. It's our anointing service. I'm going to anoint you. And God is going to touch your lives. So please, can you come forward? God wants to touch your life in a unique way. God wants to minister to your life. Father, bless this oil this morning. I ask that everyone that have contact with this, they are blessed forever. I declare that your special right will touch them and great grace will work with it. I pray for these ones that are here today and they touch this oil. It's going to impact their life positively the greater measure of God will touch their lives. New you will come out. New grace will come. New anointing will flow. New right will come. And I declare today that the special power of God will be the order of your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus' name we pray. People in the front say, I reject every giant on my inside that is there to sleep. In the name of Jesus, Say, I command that from today henceforth, that dead giant on my inside, say, what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus, come out by fire. Say, I declare authoritatively 
that from today, every power that I house in my body, tormenting my life, say, what are you waiting for? Your time is up. Can you shout and say, your time is up? Say, your time is up. Can your voice be louder? I command in the name of Jesus, say, come out of my life. Say, from today, I receive power for boldness, strength for boldness, grace for boldness, anointing for boldness, manifestation of the Spirit of God for boldness. In the name of Jesus, say, I'm not alone. I will no longer be limited. In the name of Jesus, say, every opportunity that I have lost, say, I regain them back. In the name of Jesus, say, from today, I return back to my season of happiness, my season of joy, my season of increase, my season of supernatural life. The way God want me to be, I return back to it. In the name of Jesus, say from today, everyone join them and shout, say from today, I am against you, you dear sleeping giant. In the name of Jesus, you're always scared to approach a thing. It has been a serious issue on your inside. Serious issue. Tell God, say, Lord, restore me back. Speak to him. Today is a special day. <laughs> and the last day this month, you must not live your life in a way you live it this month. Next month must be better than now. Say, God, restore me back. Lord, restore me back. Lord, give me the abundance of life. Restructure my destiny. Restructure my life. Say, Lord, restructure my life. That sleeping giant we awake. That new life is released to me. God is touching my life. God is touching my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, I want your amen to be louder. I pray for you today. And I pray for myself. I want everyone to be upstanding. Any area where devil is actually using as weapon to weigh us down. I pray in the name of Jesus, let God take over. Amen. From today I spot, I declare authoritatively, every giant on your inside that is sleeping, dead, or that is affecting your life, I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, let that giant arise in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today I spot, your life will start being a pleasant one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If you receive this anointing today, anything holding you down, say, you will not proceed to the next stage of your life. I prophesy, if you can shout seven rare name, as you cross over tonight, God will take over! Hey, man, hey, man. From today, you will, not, you will not longer say, why devil? You begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go and do where? Amen. It's your new season. Amen. Your new time. Amen. Your befitting crown is released to you. <laughs> your befitting destiny is released to you. Amen. The abundance of grace of God is released to you. New life you're supposed to live that will make you better. Oh, yeah, enter into it now. As you are anointed today, heaven will back you up. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, glory. Can you shout seven hallelujahs? You return back. You see where to go.
say glory. I pray for you today that the hands of God will touch your life in the name of Jesus. As you touch this oil, you return back to your seat. Please, after that time, people that are not in the front, when they, these people go back, you come for your set. God bless you in Jesus' name. Anoint yourself. Every sleeping giant in me. This is the anointing for recovery. It's anointing for recovery. I recover this. Every lost virtues. I recover myself. From every power of destiny paralysis. I enter into the season of recovery. I'm just telling you the prayer to pray. Please don't take it for granted. You have heard testimony of so many people. You have heard testimony of people. Power of the anointing is going to touch your life. Begin to tell God, it's my new day. The new day for my spouse, for my children. New day for my business, for everything that I lay my hands on. 